In this problem, we have to find the x values at which the function is not continuous and classify them as removable or non-removable. So there's a key fact that we can use in these problems. So the sine of x is equal to 0. This is the same thing as saying that x is equal to k pi, where k is an integer. And the cosine of x is equal to 0. This is the same thing as saying that x is equal to pi over 2 plus k pi, where k is an integer. So if you memorize these two things, you can do all of these problems pretty easily. So we're looking for the x values where this doesn't make any sense. So you can think of tangent as sine over cosine. So it's really sine of 7 pi x over 6 over cosine of 7 pi x over 6. So we're looking for where this is not continuous. That will occur whenever the bottom is equal to 0. So that means that you would have cosine of 7 pi x over 6 equal to 0. right? Because you can't divide by 0, so that's what you want. You want to know where it's not continuous. Well, you can use this formula here. You see here's our x, except now this is our x here. So x is equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. So here we take this, 7 pi x over 6, and we set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. Okay, so you just take whatever is here and you set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. So basically, whenever you have one of these trig functions, just think about what's on the bottom. So if you have tangent, you know cosine's on the bottom. So automatically, you can take this and set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi. So for example, if you had like secant of 2x, you would just take 2x and set it equal to pi over 2 plus k pi because cosine's on the bottom. If you had cosecant of 3x, then sine's on the bottom. So you would take 3x and set it equal to k pi. All right, to finish this problem, we have to solve for x. So the easy way to get rid of the 7 pi over 6 is to multiply by the reciprocal. So multiply by 6 over 7 pi. Let's do it to both sides, 6 over 7 pi. I'm going to go ahead and show all the steps, too. So these cancel, boom, 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 boom. So we get x equals pi over 2 times 6 over 7 pi plus k pi times 6 over 7 pi. So all we did was distribute the 6 over 7 pi to both pieces. Okay. Let's see, these pi's cancel. Uh, ooh, 6 over 2 is 3. So I guess we get 3 over 7. Yeah, because 2 goes into 6 3 times. Yep. And then these pi's cancel. So we get plus 6k over 7. And then k is an integer. So these are the discontinuities and integer. These are the discontinuities. These are the x values where the function is not continuous. These are vertical asymptotes and therefore they are non-removable discontinuities. All these trig functions, you know, tangent, secant, cosecant, cotangent, they all have vertical asymptotes and so all of, this, all of those discontinuities will be non-removable. That's it.